Hey, this is Zoe Williams of the Voice of Reason and Zoe What Morning Shows here at Dash Radio. Listen, everybody on YouTube, you guys have been a tremendous support for my shows, and I appreciate everybody for tuning in every week and you know participating. But I'm serious than a mug. We need your help on the GoFundMe campaign. We really want to do the VOR Radio Network, and I'm asking you personally, each and every one of you, we're over nearly 24,000 strong here on the channel. We need you to support by donating. Just click that little button down there, and it'll take you directly to the GoFundMe campaign. It's GoFundMe.com forward slash Zoe Williams. Anything you can do is greatly appreciated. It continues our movement. It continues our forward progress. And I appreciate you all who have already donated. If you can do it again, I thank you so much. Thanks again. So what? I'm out. I'm Zoe Williams, the voice of reason. If your relationship is in trouble, I'm the dude to call. Has your soulmate become your cellmate? Does black love still exist? What are your bedroom turnoffs? Fantasies and fetishes. Financial infidelity. I'm dating a fat person. Are they worth the wait? Trust me, this is gonna be crazy. How about the heavy stuff? The child wasn't his, and he still had to pay child support. It's a very heated topic. I was that right. Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. I just have so many questions I want to ask you. I'm like to kiss a woman's ass. Is there something wrong with that? Damn. <laughs> he told me he had a vasectomy. I'm pregnant. Betrayal has been committed. Hit you with the bad hatch routine. How does he maintain his humpacity? He likes it when it pinches my neck. Why can't you open up, brother? I'm a karate man. Karate man rules on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. Yeah. How do you write women so well? So William. Reason and accountability. The voice of reason. Yeah. It's Wednesday, the day after the OG's birthday, but I'm still in my energy. I'm still ready. <laughs> I just like messing with people. I'm still ready to do this. Oh my God, today's topic is going to be bananas. I mean bananas. And guess what? If you hear a little noise, it's because Dash Radio is building new studios at nighttime while we're trying to do a show. But it's all good. The shit's going to look fly. The girls had a difficult time getting in here. They had the doors locked and all kind of weird shit. Did you guys have to fill out the uh, the little information thing? Oh, y'all didn't meet the, the... No, but I did just for fun. Oh, really? Wow. All right. <laughs> they was like, had your people sign. Wasn't no signing. What up, Big Chris? We got the girls in the building. Listen, I got a couple of things to promote. I need Frank to pull up my website. Listen, we're getting closer and closer to the holographic relationship. The holographic relationship is definitely going to be a problem. It's definitely going to have you looking at your relationships in an entirely different way. So I'm telling you right now, get to my website, IamZoeWilliams.com. Click shop, pre-order your copy of The Holographic Relationship, a deeper look at the union between consciousness, God, and intimacy. Going to be a hot book. Fire your book. Don't play yourself. Shit, upgrade yourself. Yep, I just said it. And then I also want you to get yourself a copy of the Relationship Dismount. It's out right now. I have some physical copies remaining. If you want to get your copy, IamZoeWilliams.com. That's the same place to go. And then I want to say this. I'm happy I paid back the fraudulent 20 grand that was donated to my GoFundMe page. <gasps> what? Fraudulent. Why? Yeah. That's struggle. My last payment was like three or four days ago it was like six grand that was the last payment they made four donations but they were all fraudulent well, how do you fraudulent somebody give, tried bro? to monkey knuckle my gofundme page wow. with fraudulent donations wow i didn't even know that was a thing though what oh my what? it was a problem oh, wow. and we had to pay it all back I'm because what's did. what's ill is they start off, the person, whoever did it, knew. Right. 
Right. You know, in, in a couple of days after it goes into its account, it turns real. Right. Turns into real money. Right. But then they're going to find out that the card was bad or whatever. They're going to find out that some bullshit was up and then they're going to ask for the money back. Right. And that's what happened. Jesus. 20 grand. We gave it back. The struggle. Ouch. That's you. You can hear the ouch. Right. That saw noise is right on time. Right <laughs> on time. Ouch. Wow. I was heated. But the GoFundMe page is back up. So get there if you want to donate to the radio, our programs, the Zo What Show, the Voice of Reason. www.gofundme.com forward slash Zo Williams. Let's get it back up. It's my birthday month. Yes. I'm yes. in my energy. I'm turned up. I've got topics about real life heat. And don't play with me, ladies. <laughs> don't play. Tell the motherfucking truth. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Angry Smurf. I'm talking about you. This nickname. I'm not gonna play. Angry Smurf be mad. Like oh, she be <laughs> salty. Can you hear now? Are you good? Oh, she's just look at her. Oh my god. You want my headphones? Leave. <laughs> just, Jesus. Somebody was born in saline solution. Salty. Go to bed. <laughs> okay? Tell me this Ladies and gentlemen, the jock- Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the voice of reason. This is a caller driven show. I want to hear from you. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. That's 323-230-4610. I'm Zoe Williams, the voice of reason. It's Wednesday night. The topic is about to be lit. Are you ready for the topics, ladies? Yes. Let's make sure. Can you hear Angry Smurf? Uh-oh. <laughs> she got some retarded head. Go calls. ahead, Joel. Joel, your headphone has a your headphones have autism. Maybe I don't know. Here, you you, you, no, you can have mine. No, it's okay. Cause I don't want the helmet here. I don't want nobody to go through this. Yeah. <laughs> the struggle. Let me heal it. your ears. <laughs> Come here, Joel. <laughs> Bring your head over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's topic. Identifying relationship satellites. Is he truly your friend or is he plotting for more? (laughs) A deeper look at the potentially infinite relationship options in orbit around married people or people in in a relationship. What is a platonic relationship? Can men and women have platonic relationships? True or false? For as long as men and women have been being friends, people have always asked, can men and women actually be friends without sex being involved? What's the quickest way to get put into the friend zone by a woman? (laughs) I.E. (laughs) frenitentiary. This is about to be fucking crazy. Gosh. Are platonic relationships for real? And can they survive in this era? You know, this is the hookup era. It's about dick and pussy having a conversation. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. Can men and women truly just be friends? What are the boundaries of a platonic relationship? True or false? Don't, do you know people who use platonic friendships as a means to practice their flirting? Yeah, wow. it's a lot of fuckery out here. I'm telling you. True or false? Please never do favors for a friend in hopes that they will come around and like you. That's a very true fact. Uh, yeah. I'll make. I, I'll produce your records <laughs> if right. if you swing my way. You underdig. <laughs> you underdig. Why is that problem now? Do most men catfish friendship with women 
in order to get that thong. In other words, they fronting. They're catfishing their friendship. That's right. That's That's a true fact. You know, get in, get your your secrets, make you feel comfortable. Wow. What are some signs that you're falling in love with a close friend? You know it's wrong, but if loving you is wrong. I don't want to be right, baby. I don't want to be right, baby. Also, how do you differentiate between friendship, love, and romantic love? Mm. If you're not sure if you have romantic feelings for your friend, is it necessary to even label those emotions? Gosh, identifying relationship satellites. What is a relationship satellite? A relationship option that is in orbit around a pre-existing relationship. I'ma break this glass in case this nigga fucks up and I have a dick emergency. Don't say that. (laughs) We are not on a DE. Relationship satellites. And you know women keep friends. He's just my friend. He's been my friend for years. You know what he's about. Are friend zone relationships one way streets? You know he like you. And you just use him to spill your guts about shit you couldn't tell the nigga you really want. And you know you ain't gonna never fuck him. But he is the shoulder that is always consistent. And you know what he wants. <laughs> Our friend zone relationships, one way streets where the women have most of the power and will never give it up. God damn. 323 230 4610. You're listening to the voice of reason and all of the noise in the background. You're going to hear us build right now. <laughs> Ladies. Oh. I asked a bunch of questions. You did. And I'm finna start it again, starting with Mimi. Oh, shoot. All right. How many relationship satellites do you have in orbit? Whoa. You know what? I'm about your business right okay. now. You know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, you know, so when you say that, you know, I'm thinking of the person that you're saying that likes you and then they're right. acting like they don't like you. And that's a lot of different orbits going on because a lot of times people like you, but they either A, know that you're not going to talk to them or they're hoping that they can break down boundaries and act like that friend. Boundaries. They want to be that friend you never had. So everything you say they agree with, every man that makes you mad, they're even madder. He bullshitting. You need to leave him alone. You too good for him. He not even on your level. You know what I'm saying? So so they try to find things to say to kind of mess up that relationship with you and that person. So at the end of the day, you got to watch yourself because everything they say is like memorex. It's not live. It's memorex because they're not keeping it real. They're not keeping it real because they want you. If they want you, they can't cheer somebody else on to have you. Right, facts. That is You know what I mean? Truth. If you like me, you're not going to give me good information about what I should do to keep my relationship. As a matter of fact, your information is contrary to that. You want to make sure that I make mistakes or make poor choices in this relationship. Do niggas guide you into bullshit in order to fuck up the current relationship so they can land? Facts. That, yep. Yeah, they do. They, yep. they egg it on. Egg it on. Yeah, you shouldn't really be messing with him anyways. Well, who should I be messing with then? Right. Right. You? When I met him, it was something about him. It's something up with yeah, him. Yeah, I, I told you from the jump, he wasn't the right one. Something right. off about that nigga. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They got all the facts and the answers. Should right. be a therapist. Right. But don't got no answers. Right. You no answers. I mean? They got the answers for themselves. All in the family car. Don't know who the funeral belongs to. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. 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 Yo. That was great. Yo, yo. You got to tell me. Okay. To be completely honest, I did a lot of work to weed these people out when I was going through therapy back in the day. But right now, I would say, like, I can really say it's two at most three. Like, I can could tell you names. I won't say the names. But there's two, maybe three satellites out there. But I did a lot of work to weed them out, to weed out people that was just 
you know, so I'm not using you. You ain't expecting nothing from me. Keep it as as uncomplicated as humanly possible. You telling me right now you only got two satellites. I really only have this two satellites because I just cut everybody mm-hmm. off. Like, they, dudes will do that. You'll be like, oh, I don't want to mess with you no more. They'll be like, but can we be friends? And I'll be like, no. No, because what happens then is a few weeks later or even days or whatever their little cycle is, they're like, so uh, we should just smash one more time. Like, see, nope, delete block. No, we shouldn't. No, it's never going to happen again. Delete block. Yeah, delete block. (laughs) Don't talk to me no more. So, yeah, I really have to maybe there's like, I don't know if this third one's really a satellite or not, but like something doesn't feel right. What you mean? You got more satellites. I really like I don't even have male friends right now. Like, period. To be honest, like, Zoe, you are the male friend. (laughs) That's That's it. it. (laughs) Like, I'm really, when I said I was trying to, like, really detox and get men out the way, like, I really was like, get them out the way. Like, if you legit aren't a business deal, I'm not trying to mess with you right now. Wow. Oh, girl. Joel Comedy. (laughs) How many satellites? Um, I don't know. <laughs> My don't headphones ain't working. I don't, I don't know. know. All the satellites, I can't keep up. I don't know. I Hard mean, it, no. Well, it's not even that. It's like people, they're intimidated by me, so they don't want to say anything. This is from what I hear. But I had a friend, and he was just like, "Yo, I thought I was the only one that had a crush on you, but everybody in their mama got a crush on you." I was like, "Who?" And he was like, "I'm not. You know." And I was like, "I don't know." And I'm like, "I really don't." That's Somebody, game. No, but I'm saying like, if people, like, if I have any. Like situations like that, they haven't expressed it to me, and not they don't even say. It. Well, I don't have like anyone to where they can be like hating them, say, "Oh, you know, you really shouldn't be," you know what I mean, trying to downplay. It. I don't have any situation like that, so they just keeping it to themselves until they try and shoot their shot. It probably won't work because if you right. know if you're not confident now, it's and not gonna happen. Angry Smurf, right. I don't, I don't, I don't like your approach. No, I'm just saying, like <laughs> we're we're cool. Like I'm, I'm such like a homie, like. But people are just like, oh my gosh, oh my gonna lick her. I'm like, just say something. Like, you never know. Yeah, right. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Yeah. You, you know? never know. So, like, you might as well say something, so, so but they be too scared. Telling, so, I just want to be clear. Just you don't have, you don't know if you have any satellites. I'm, I'm sure they're there. I just don't know how many, and I don't know, you know, I mean, which ones. Can you see one from where <laughs> you're standing? Yeah. Well, probably like maybe like one from like work because somebody told oh me. Oh my god. But he this... never said anything. He was just like, yo, can you put me on? And she was just like, yeah, I actually wouldn't even try. <laughs> she probably won't talk to you. Oh, my God. I was like, you right. told him that? She was like, yeah, I was being honest. You don't want him, right? Oh I was like, you're right. Keep it real and keep okay, it real. Okay, here we right? go. Patty yo, don't crazy got, ass. <laughs> Patty ain't got no satellites. I'm cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Patty has Why no. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. I'm here go a the motherfucking truth. satellite just, right here. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> 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 I just threw his ass under the bus. There he is, right there. Right there. Right there. Super <laughs> under the bus. I don't right. have no satellites. <laughs> <laughs> At least none I know of for facts. I don't talk to no dudes. I don't have time to entertain no dudes. I'm on grind mode. I'm trying to get to the top. I That's wasted it. way too many time. Way too much time in my life on having satellites and, ha- and dealing with uh, dudes, men, whatever, that I don't got the time for that no more. Do you more. know, it's just, Mimi might be able to correct me here, but the woman who faints to be so busy be the easiest one to fuck. That's oh. very for not true. Well, it, it, it could be, but I'm not that one. So uh, you can come my way, but you're going to get the highway the number to dial is 323 <laughs> That's the number to dial. I'm just interested to know. I mean, man. Well, see, for me, I mean, I'm busy on my grind as well. So, I mean, I, I got, like, blinders on. You know when horses are in a race? They actually put blinders on the horse so the horse doesn't Not see distracted. the other horses running, right? Exactly. So, I got my blinders on. So, I feel her on that. But on the flip side, you're right, though. There are lonely women that, hey, not to be funny, they want to get it when they can't see. My thing is, I got toys and devices if it's that serious. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, if I really need it like that, I can do that. Then go back to sleep. But do some even, work. But listen, <laughs> y'all just making it all neat and clean. What? Even when you got your devices... How do you accidentally trip up on some penis? Because no, it happens how, a I mean, lot. How can we how come we can't really not be <laughs> wanting it or dealing with nobody? Like it's a true fact. Like, you know, why can't it be a true fact that right now I really 
I'm cool off people. You no, know? I'm saying that's a true <clears throat> fact. But in the midst of your truth, oftentimes women find a meat pole. Well, if they find a meat pole, then they're going to go keep going back to the pole. I mean, that pole is coming handy. Right. Yep. And they need to, it's like an emergency glass jar. You know that what I mean? At emergency. Saying. Bam. Come on out, baby. Okay. But, <laughs> right. but at the end of the day, like if you're really on your grind, then that's Are not you? really your thing. Like for real, if you're really focused, it's just like a man doing entertainment. Hypothetically, he's a producer. Yeah, he might be checking out the women, but at the end of the day, if he's really serious about his craft, he's, he's, he's got to put things in priority and perspective. Perspective. You know? No, I get that. I get that. You know what I mean? Because the dick come and go. It does. And it's a lot of... It's a few. Why is that such a hard thing to grasp? Like, it's never that deep. It isn't. It's just like you got to be thirsty. You got to be... And I'm not thirsty. That hasn't been my experience with women. No? Hey. You've had, but, you know what, me, you, but you know really what? I'm just saying with women. I have a magic wand. But you're handsome. You're smart. You're educated. I'm going so to So maybe you want <laughs> right. you know, swing the wand and, and then jumping down for you. And then wand right. on top of all of that? Oh. Fuck. I mean, okay, it, I mean I no, I have to be honest. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just, oh. my experience has been. That's probably because you're a finesser. You could probably finesse them. I have satellites that just hover. Oh, right. I believe you have satellites, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, that's not the issue. <laughs> On the hover side of the game. <laughs> On the hover side of the yeah. game. <laughs> no, what I will say is a woman who is Niggas is straight focused. drones in my life just oh, outside. Oh, you are what? doing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the most right now. <laughs> no, but I was going to say, as a woman who's on my grind, but also, like, <laughs> you know, I think Zoe's point is, like, Women very easily happen happen along dick. Like we can very easily just come upon dick. No matter how focused you are, you might be at a lunch meet and then you trying to leave and the guys opening the door and you know whatever. Like guys just present themselves in all sorts of situations. I couldn't even pump gas in Inglewood the other day. They're like, "Girl, you want me to pump your gas for you?" I'm like, "I'm straight." They're like, "What you mean?" I was like, "Cause you pumping gas means you want something else." And I'm like, "I'll just pump my own gas." <laughs> like I'm just what right. if it means that I just want to pump your yeah, gas? Yeah, this wasn't the situation. It's not like you said, it "Can wasn't. I pump your ass?" You no, no, but for real though, but for real, that that but little attention you give gas. them on pumping your gas is gonna go. <laughs> well, let's not be distracted that. by that whole point, because usually yes, if you're chivalrous, I'm about that. But I just knew it was three of them, and it was like I knew what the situation was. I'm like I'm straight. But with that being said, no matter how busy you are as a busy person, like I'm still not too busy for a quality dick to fit its weight that's in my schedule. I'm, that's all I'm saying. But like, turn it up. Let's go. Yeah, that's definitely a choice. It's not like it's a necessity. No, it's like it's like dick on Uber. Like I can call you when I want it. Right? See, all I'm saying is I just need y'all to tell the truth. That is the truth. That is I gave you the truth. You know, at the moment, I don't have, I, at least as far as I know, I don't have no satellites. I don't have nobody on my phone. Only person that's on my phone as a male right now is my cousin Horace. And that's my cousin. We crack jokes and talk about each other all day. You get me? I don't have dudes on my line because, you know what? I don't really have time to waste on you right now. But if I do want to go and create a satellite or find me a little satellite floating around, that's super easy. You got a million men in the world and for women, too. I mean, and for men, too. It's a lot of women in the world. You can go do that. All right. So let's do this. Let's, let's tell the truth. Have you ever been in a relationship and felt the need to maintain a, a relationship with somebody outside of your current relationship because you weren't too sure. You wasn't too, you felt like maybe this shit is about to be over or Facts. this ain't cool. Yeah. Facts, or, entertaining. This yeah. nigga's strange. The more I get to know him, the less I yep. like him. Yep. Yep. yep, entertaining. So this is what I want you to do yeah, right now. There. I want all of you motherfuckers to reveal your secrets. <laughs> Entertaining on how you maintain the satellite relationship. Go. I maintain my satellite relationship because I was, you know what? <laughs> I was like, this is, this is, this the homie. He was the homie, but he was the homie. You know, I never did anything personally with him, but I would talk to him. I knew his intentions. He liked me. I did like him. I was in my relationship. I felt like my relationship wasn't going good. He was a shoulder, somebody to give me advice, and I was just like, give All up right, that cool. game, then, my nigga. So I just was with my little satellite. You know, I was still in my relationship. I stayed, you know. Physically faithful to my relationship, but I was entertaining. Emotionally cheating? Emo yes, I would that's what I was. I was emotionally cheating, and I'm gonna keep that as a fact. Wow. Own it. Ownership! Hey. <laughs> Somebody give her the pink slip for that lie. <laughs> anyway. 
Mimi? Yes. Well, I've definitely been in a situation where I was in a relationship where it was coming. I felt to an end. I felt like they weren't giving me the same attention that they were giving me. They were out hitting the corners and not answering. So, of course, I got a friend. People always ask me out. Wow. So I'm always turning people down. So this right. is just like a person that you decide, hey, they're worth me getting to know. You exactly. know what I mean? So I began getting to know them. They were cool. I didn't really cross the boundary with the person, but I believe if I would have, my boyfriend would have kept acting up, he would have got me. Like the other dude would have got me because he knew me as a friend. He, I could confide in him. And I can actually be myself. It's a problem right. when you're in a relationship and you can't and be you yourself. They meet you one way and they want to make you into another person that you're on. not. Oh, oh wait. Hold on. Upset. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody's got to pump the brakes right quick. Yes. Why she got to pump her brakes? You can't be yourself in your relationship? I've been in one that I couldn't Woo! be myself. Yeah. I've I gotten one where we, oh, you know, yeah. got into each other and then they wanted to change and control me. Ah. So, so, so the things that we that made us exciting those were the things he wanted to control like it's like you want me to be grandma now but when you met me you loved who i am but now you want me to be well, grandma wait a minute he, hold on what these are old stories Why? what about the lies women tell in order to get in the relationship in the first place well i can't speak for another no woman yeah. but i can speak for patty <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for everybody. Is Patty else. your alter ego? Because I'm scared <laughs> right now. Wait, this nigga is. She went. <laughs> she said. Arr! Right. She went. Talking about Patty. She's a low rider. Who the fuck is Patty? Right. She's in a six. Oh. Okay. okay. Cool. <laughs> Who the hell is Patty? I'm Patty. Hey, Patty girl. Hey, okay, Patty. Patty. All right. Hey. Patty is my Sasha Fierce. <laughs> All right. Cool. No. But speak for yourself. I want to hear this. <clears throat> Mimi, I'm going to let you take the floor. Oh, now you want to. Okay, cool. Patty. Patty didn't have <laughs> shit to say. Patty Joelle, tell me uh, about how you maintain your outside relationships when you're in an uncertain one. Um, Yeah, I just kind of talk to them. Let them just be like pressed over me. It just gives me that confidence. I literally just let them I like spill that. their heart out to me. And I'm just like, okay, cool. But this this is what I will say about satellites. Even though I can be in an unhappy relationship, this is I think in just in general, those satellites will never be the one. They're always going to be yeah. the, have that purpose. They serve a purpose for a reason. And you making them something more is like it's it's just never going to happen because Don't act like women don't get desperate and turn satellite niggas into the nigga. But the, it'll never work out in my opinion. It just like cuz you're a satellite for a reason. Mm -hmm. Like Clearly, if no, I, if you, he's only a satellite because you think you got better options. No, but, before, but when those fucking options start to whittle down, this nigga know. started looking like know. a Any snicker. Any satellite I that I know of, they was already there before my partner came. It was, but so yeah, you, you just but, never got to that point. Yeah, yeah. like you had, right. you had put like ample opportunity, and mm -hmm. it, it clearly hasn't made it its way. We haven't made our way together for a reason. Whether it's you didn't like what it wasn't assertive enough, or I'm just like still not feeling it. There's still not that connection connection as yeah. deep as any other guy that could because right. like so even, you're telling me you're using the satellite no he knows what it is i'm not using it but like the, the thing is like yes they're still a friend the satellites are still like a friend and like how you're everyone using your relationship with the satellite stop it so <laughs> i mean but at the same time yeah but they're allowing themselves to get used as well uh, that's a fact. It that's is. a fact. They, they want, they want to be. They want to. They want to. They're playing that role. They want to. They do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Exactly. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> what you mean? Oh, you must be. Hold on. You must be a satellite. Let's just hold on one second. Let's just hold on one second. <laughs> no, he got the wand, baby. He got the oh, wand. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't forget about yeah, the wand. Don't ever forget about the wand. You are. Oh Lord! The leader we of the are in Hollywood, my nigga. Oh, so here we go. Lord. Here we go. I'm, I'm back. Okay. Okay. Let's just bring it back. I can't believe some of the shit y'all be saying. Some of it be good game. Like if y'all paying attention, the sisters are revealing some subtleties about the bullshit they think. But then, but, but then in other areas, it'd be hella off. Mm -mm, Intuitively, like, I could feel the shitocracy of it all. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, we spin facts. We spin our, spin our personal facts, you know? 
You having I, a sandwich? What's going on? <laughs> no, I'm getting this hall so I can <clears throat> articulate. Okay, cool. <laughs> I have a halls too, but it doesn't sound like it. Oh man! You're gonna have to master that. The halls. I'm just listen. So let me get back. Let me get focused, as Jamie Fox used to say on the Fox. Home. Let me get focused. Relationship satellites understand the concept. They are a relationship option that are orbiting in orbit around a pre-existing relationship. What I know about women, y'all say, oh, there's so many men, it's obvious dick everywhere, da 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 Right? You guys will cultivate relationships with options. Yes or no? That, that, okay, so, the, the, so let's yeah. establish yeah. the truth in that statement. Is that true across the board, ladies? For yeah. both men and women, yes. No, I, yes. Stop yeah. with the caveats. <laughs> I'm just talking to <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I mean, not, not, for, hard on us. not for me, but I can see how it is a yes. I knew yeah. you was going to be weird. No, I'm not trying everyone. to be weird because, number one, like I don't even get in relationships like that in general because I don't think that's something to play with. I don't get in a relationship with, with the intention of it not lasting, so I don't need Same to have here. options. So if I'm going to have options, I'm going to be single. I'm not going to think whoa, whoa. like that. Hold on. Let's just drill down. No pun intended. <laughs> Stop it. You're telling me that when you get in a relationship, mm -hmm. you get what Mimi just described as tunnel vision. You literally don't see any other option. Mm -hmm. You're a fucking unicorn. That's fine. She's... she's Otherwise, she's I don't a unicorn get, Pegasus. I don't get in relationships. I only had two boyfriends, so like that's for a reason, and they both lasted over two years for a reason. Okay, let's do it another way so we exactly. can make you feel even more weird. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I love it, uh, Tiffany. When was the last time you were in a, a serious relationship with somebody, and you were still scoping out other options? Um. <laughs> well, I'll be honest, I. I had a satellite come, like, follow me in my last relationship. So he was, like, already there. Who and was I, it? And I cut Do off. Do I know? Oh, no. What? Don't ask you me ain't finna have her name dropping on this oh, name. No, you don't. No, so. <laughs> I was just, I was, no. Shit, I just wanted to know. And it's, it's well known. I'm talking it was like, like it's like just a, me and y'all. It was a process. No, and the satellite <laughs> eventually was dropped. The satellite was dropped and cut off for this reason. Like, I think I was being hella naive about this being a satellite. All together. Ah, I really I thought he was just a male friend. So I brought this male friend into my marriage. I didn't have any other sa satellites. I really did cut off everybody except this one. But it, because he was so obviously a satellite to my husband, I had to cut it off out of respect for no, him. No, but see, that's the thing that bothers me. <laughs> like, I was just hella naive about it until, like, just signs were hella clear. Like, oh, wait, you've I been waiting can't for years. Buy <laughs> yeah. feminine naivete. I was like, I really With wanted to be a friend. Intuition. Okay. You know what you feel inwardly and spiritually with that dude? Well, exactly. How are you gonna be? <laughs> Look at that. No, but my thing was like, for me, like me and this person had like been intimate and both realized like eh, that wasn't for us. Like we knew we could have let it be something, and we both mutually chose not to. So we were being friends. So that's where I was like, oh, I thought like we've been being friends for years. And then I got married. Yeah, like, but then it became clear after I got married, like, oh, just kidding. You really been hanging out here for a minute. I feel like when, yeah. <clears throat> once I cross so, that level of not being a friend anymore, yeah. we are not friends. Like, we are definitely, uh, <laughs> something's going to happen. Like, we have we intentions. We're not friends. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> we're, we, we friends. Like, especially if we've kissed, you done felt up on me, or anything, like, sexual I feel like we, we just is not like friendly anymore. Like, cause if your friend, I, I, that's my personal opinion. Like, what a dude, like what, one of my guy friends. If I'm like, like for example, like she she said they had they had sex or whatever, and then they figured out that that wasn't for them. At that point, you know y'all can't be friends no more. Because how you have it? I feel like personally, especially if you're gonna get in a marriage, that's I, my personal opinion. I feel Wait like I can't minute. be a friend. I want to hear from everybody on this. You can't, women can't have sex with men and then return to friendship? I mean, I have, I, like I have. I definitely have before, and like, that's why I don't agree, but I've had, a, I've had, I've lived a lot of different kinds of relationships, and so yeah, I've had 
sex with someone and like legit been like either like like literally there's a few people I'm thinking of right now like it was like some brothers sister shit like even if the sex itself was good we we're just like nah like that's not for us nah and like totally been cool after that like totally kicked it been straight yeah, but you like, like so. you gonna take that friend you had no. sex with to your boyfriend like this the homie but y'all laid up with each other you know like that's how I'm saying like I can't like what? have sex with you and then like we be friends and I'm in a relationship I didn't say friends with benefits like we didn't keep having well, no, sex she's not saying that. no I'm not saying that I'm saying in general like if, if if I have sex with one of my guy friends and I, I have a, and I, then I get in a relationship with one of my boy what a, what a boyfriend and then I introduce him like oh yeah this is the homie but I've had sex with him I know my boyfriend is not about to be cool with me have prior having sex with this person and bringing him around him Even because whether we involved. liked it or we didn't there's still something there it was still something that got sparked up that's all I'm saying you can't quiet or spark go ahead. <laughs> Don't do that. Go ahead, Mimi. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> well, so it's a couple of things that just uh, got mentioned, but I'll start on the first part. I believe if if I've had hypothetically, you're my friend, we've had sex, and it, we decided that we're not moving forward with it, then I can still be your friend. Now, we're not having sex no more. Once I decide that that's it, that's it, boy. It ain't nothing for us to talk about. We friends. Right. We we became friends for a reason. Now, there are people that are in your past and you had sex with, and there's still something maybe you didn't say goodbye to. You know, there was never a close chapter, and there's something about mm. them that you're sexually or mm. mentally or physically turned on about that person, and you yourself are turned on by them. Then that type of person, then you may uh, have a uh, you know, reoccurring relationship with. But if you're in a relationship, a serious one, I keep that person out of my relationship because right. I know they're dangerous. Because I know Why? that they're dangerous Wait, too. wait, wait. Say more about the danger. They're dangerous because <laughs> I may like them and I like what they do to me. Yes. And I may want to get it I done like some that. more. Yes. I might want to feel that some more. Yes. So to I avoid like not yeah. wanting to feel Maybe, that, yeah. he might have on his good smelling cologne and his little suit and stuff or whatever he got on looking hot. I might be like, damn. So I got to stay away from brother. So basically, <laughs> you know that because I know what he do to me. You know what I mean? But I know how then to. You cut don't it. really <laughs> technically belong to the dude you're, you're with. with. Exactly. Well, I, I get that. Well, I get that part. But I'm just saying, that if you part. can't, but you can't, <laughs> but you can't be with both. If both people want you, and you want to be, to me, I want to be a good woman. I don't want to be a cheater. Right. I don't want to be like, oh, she's a cheater. Like, that's foul in itself. Well, the question becomes now, you want to be a good woman to whom? I want to be a good woman to so the one that man. I'm with. The one I'm with. Usually the, the one you're with, you have more control. Right. Well, the one I'm with, I'm going to stick with him because I felt like we got together because I have a bond with him. We riding and dying together. We trying to do this. You know right. what I'm saying? I stay away from the other one because maybe I'm sexually attracted to the other one and he ain't no good. Maybe he's a male whore. You know what I'm you saying? No such but, thing. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a uh, such oh, thing. Oh, there's a super such, such, such thing. thing. Baby, they like okay. swing that one. Men can be horse. That high Men can be yeah. horse. Yeah. Just dogs. Horse. That's another show. Or yeah. toddlers, whatever Men. you want to call it. Men can be horse. Okay, well, <laughs> but there's some men that get more women than, or they like to go through more men than women than other men. You know what I mean? Like, they got the pet bull, the chihuahua, the bulldog, the rottweiler. Everybody's on a different level of the game. Facts. And I don't need the, the pet bull male whore. Ladies okay. and gentlemen. Aggressive. Based <laughs> off of what Mimi just said, ladies and gentlemen. Relationship coming. Listen, if you're just tuning in, we're having a heated discussion about relationship satellites. If you don't know what a relationship satellite is, here, let me explain. You're in a relationship. It's all right. It's got its challenges. It's impediments. So you maintain good relations, like relationship, foreign relation policies, right? <laughs> you got like foreign relations because you in a relationship, <laughs> but your foreign relationships are still being maintained because this relationship ain't always together, ain't always all you thought it would be. So you're still maintaining relationships on foreign land just in case you got to bounce. Relationship satellites. Oh, my God. Is the possibility of romantic love worth risking a friendship over? Uh, I like fucking with y'all with these questions. Clearly. <laughs> Think about it. I got my dude. 
He's solid. But this ain't what I want. What I want is over there. And so in the meantime, I'm going to maintain a relationship with over there just in case the floor fall out over here. You know y'all do this shit meticulously. So it's a lot of him and then hind early on. So what I'm going to do is allow them to catch their breath on the him and then high side of the game. I'm going to get a caller up in here. Caller! <laughs> You're on the voice of reason. What's your name and where you calling from? Caller? Yo, what's going on? What's happening, Pimp? What's your name and where you calling from, from man? <laughs> It's Monty from Syracuse, but I really don't have any uh, thing to say. I'm just listening because I never, I was never in a relationship. You've never been in a relationship. Okay, Jesus, turn the music down. Yeah. Oh, did. <laughs> we've got to go. We've we've got to perform surgery. This. That's good. How old are you, man? Uh, twenty three. Yes. Okay. Twenty three. All right. You should have been in a relationship by now, but that's cool. You're a late starter. Why have why haven't you gotten into a relationship yet? What's happening? You have all your fingers and toes, everything. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, yeah, everything's all right. Okay. <laughs> Look, you okay. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, so cool. So so, what's been the deal? Do you like confidence? Are you ugly? Are you in the middle? You know, sometimes you could be a good looking dude that, but not yet. You you kind of fugly. You growing into. Your handsome look, but you ain't quite there, so it's the awkward look stage. You you know is that he dude. Satellite. Stop it. Ask if he's a satellite. Hold on, we about to find out all that. Uh, I just need to know uh, what's wrong I, with you. Are you overweight? He don't sound overweight. Even if he, he could was have over, a, even he if could he have was a, overweight, he still could find I'm him just a saying, book. He could have a thin throat. Everything else could be big. Stop. <laughs> even if he. Oh, I am so <laughs> dead. So okay, so I'm just asking. No, but I guess um. Maybe I'm nervous. Ah, it's the confidence. Aww. Here we go. See, so you about cute. to get all this pussy in here. Stop it. Stick with I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get all this pussy. This pussy is available. Everybody in here, these, these girls is wet. <laughs> they all on cue. Say, oh, in unison. See, do you better. see the hustle? You just learned your first hustle right here. Hell no, you better man up. Damn. <laughs> I'm just saying. No. All right, so tell me, talk to me <laughs> about being nervous. What's what's the what's your major issue? Are you are you afraid to approach women? You do not, or is it? Um, is it you don't know what to say? I guess hear. I'm afraid of other people listening to what I'm saying. When is your birthday? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's let's see. You, I want to hear and, more. And then it's like you know, I I try to speak to a woman, and I feel like other people might be listening to what I'm saying. I kind of get nervous and and just become you. Well, wait, why are you worried about other people listening? That's interesting. Let's let's go there. Um, back in like my school days, I had like a, a tough. But like trying to speak to cute girls who hang around with ugly chicks, and then the ugly girls will like speak out mad loud and, and put me on blast, and then like the whole cafeteria, the whole classroom would then start paying attention to what I'm saying. But see, let me just say this: just on the high school side of the game, you missed a golden opportunity. Whenever ugly chicks start clowning, that's when that's you start. That's when that you start clowning. Yes, you should have turned up. That's what I'm saying. Yes, right. and right. then in the clowning <laughs> of the ugly would've chick, got you a book. The right. bad chick would have been like, "Oh, I like the way he did that." Yeah. Yeah. He will protect, especially me. if you funny, like right. Yeah, witty. True. Right, facts. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> That's if true. you were a clown, let me tell you something. Comedians get, get cooter right. they do. because they make women laugh. Right. Right. Yep. All facts. Ugly comedians The last get dude it I was with, he was not cute, but he made me laugh. But you see what I'm saying? And you liked him because he made you laugh. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I'm, not trying, so to, I'm not trying to make you a bully. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the, the, things today have been turned into bullying, right? They've made everything into bullying. Back when I was young-er... 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got you, you had the opportunity to clown. And everybody saw it as funny. Like, oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. He just jonesing or he just bagging or crumming or whatever the term. Yeah, well, mama you know? jokes. Right, mama jokes, all of that. Especially in school, you could have clowned, bro. Yeah. And the girls would have loved you for it. Right? You could have just said, who are you going to prom with? Right. Like someone's ugly around here. Where are your edges? Where are your edges? You and your ugly herd, are you guys going together? Right. Right. You guys going to be grazing (laughs) at the prom? You you could have just clowned. Grazing. Stop it. You could have just clowned and the the bad chick would have been like, damn, he gave her the business and you would have won. I promise you. I'm not really one to think quick on my feet. I usually have clever afterthoughts. Oh, oh, shit. Clever afterthoughts. So, <laughs> you got a, you got an unathletic mind. Your I'm shit is you got yeah. a Larry Bra- Larry Bird brain. Write down a few. When is your birthday? That's what I really want to know. Jokes. Right, she wants to know your birthday. Um, Feb- it's February 11th. Oh, you're Aquarius. I, oh, okay, yeah. you're, you're uh, a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, you are. But weird in a weird way. And weird is cool. Let me just say, Aquarius and Pisces are a lot alike. They have great thoughts. What? They have great <laughs> thoughts, but sometimes it's, it's, it's difficult to articulate your thoughts. Right. You know, in your mind, you'd be like, shut your big Cheeto murder, murdering ass up. Like, you, get, you got it in your head, but right. you don't have it in your mouth. Disrespectful. Right. I'm sorry. I had just had to say it. I'm sorry. Bruh, you, you just got to be more confident. You know what? Yeah. There's a book you can read. Do you read? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, let me tell you. Go get this book. It's called The Self-Esteem Workbook mm-hmm. by Sheraldi. Mm-hmm. Excellent book. Great book. By Sheraldi. You need to get this book. I know we cracking jokes or whatever, but let me tell you, man. Cooter and confidence go hand in hand. You lack confidence, All right. you're going to be bone dry. <laughs> you want to get wet? You want to get wet? Huh? Yeah. Just, just say it. I want to say, I want to get shook. wet. Yeah. <laughs> say it. Say it. I say, 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 Zo, I want to get wet, man. <laughs> say it. <laughs> Come on. Speak yeah, up. The, the, all right. Zo, I want to get wet, man. There you go. <laughs> yes! There you go. Yes. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? You got to live in that space. You got to live in the space of, I'm already wet, nigga. Now, don't call him a nigga. Call a girl a nigga, you're going to lose her. For real. Okay. You better not be a nigga. But I'm just saying, like, you just have to believe that, first off, let me just give you another jewel when it comes to sex. This has always worked for me. I always take sex for granted. If I'm talking to a girl, I know if we spend any significant amount of time together, I'm going to fuck you. You know. (laughs) Wow. I don't even, I'm not trying to get it. I'm not going to make a move for it. That pussy is going to find its way to my penis. That is the way of the law. That is the way of the law. We're going to hang out. We're going to chill. And that is the way of the law. Like I'm, any dude that's trying to get pussy, don't get pussy. I don't do when it comes to pussy. I just am. I'm going to get it. It belongs to me. I'm a man. The pussy was made for me to be inside of it. That's it. So, no, but I'm just going to say, this is, this is, you let women off the hook. This is allow women to make excuses for making bad choices because at the end of the day, watch this, at the end of the fucking day, they get to say, oh, I picked the wrong one because, you know, he was pretending to be something he wasn't. See, when men are doing more than is necessary, first off, women understand that. They feel that energetically. But they use that, I'm a fuck him anyway, and then later on blame him or make the excuse that, you know, he was something that he wasn't. You knew what he wasn't. You knew. But you just wanted to fuck for whatever reason you had in your mind. But you fuck him with the backup excuse for why you shouldn't have. I I, I peep women. I, I peep women on this. But for you, 
you got to walk into the situation as if sex has already happened. So what are we doing next? Where are we going now? She's going to be like, what is this thing on? Yeah, uh, we just finished eating, so where are we going? What are we doing? What's happening with you? <laughs> 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 What's on <All> deck? Right. <laughs> Damn. All right. I just got to be real. But do you understand what I'm saying, bro? You got to find a level yeah. of confidence, man. You can't marginalize your energy. Women are, are very sensitive to energy. Listen, you almost won every woman in here when you came in with the, with the sympathy role. Listen, a lot of dudes, listen, a lot of dudes understand that. It, there's different manifestations of the sympathy role. If I got a baby with me, Oh, is that your baby? <laughs> yeah, this is this is my little boy, you know. His mama died, you know. <laughs> but uh, Don't say that. Yeah, you know, she died during childbirth. It's just been me and him ever since. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to make it through. Aww. <laughs> yeah, you know, I you know, I hand strain his food every night and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the sympathy role only works for a little while. You will get certain women with the sympathy role because women like a fixer-upper, number one. Number two, women like fucking a built-in excuse. A built-in justification. I knew you was on some bullshit the first time I... Yep. Yeah. But you fucked me anyway. But I let you. That's da ha ha Confidence, bro. Got to have some confidence, all right? Get that book by Sheraldi, right. the self-esteem workbook. You're going to be bone dry until you read it and practice it, okay? Damn. All right, man. I'll get it this weekend. All right, bro. <laughs> Holla at you. Damn. What the fuck is this the in trouble? The struggle. Yeah. The struggle is real. Huh? The struggle. It's a real struggle out here. It ain't no struggle for me. <laughs> well, clearly. Turn my music on, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> ain't going to be no struggling whatsoever. You bring that yoni over here and let me smoothie eight. Smoothie <laughs> eight. <laughs> on the smoothie eight side of the game. You are right. the dick. Exactly. <laughs> If you're just tuning in to the Voice of Reason, we're having fun. The girls are here. They talking shit. Tonight's topic, identifying satellites. Is he truly your friend or is he plotting for more? A deeper look at the potentially infinite relationship op options in orbit around many women. Even women who are married. And women... Y'all are like pedophiles. Let me tell you how. I was like, oh, Jesus. Okay. Pedophiles. Because you, certain pedophiles will maintain relationships and manicure and culture and groom the fucking relationships. Y'all motherfuckers be grooming your relationship options when you're in dissatisfied relationships. Yeah, close your eyes. Don't let them bug out that far. It's not <laughs> Easter yet. That's so, struggle. <laughs> That's struggle. Tell me the truth. Do y'all do that or no? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> they telling the truth tonight, guys. Let's get on the line right now. Welcome to the Voice of Reason. This is Zoe Williams. What's your name and where you're calling from? Speak on it. Caller. Okay, caller. You're on the Voice of Reason. What's your name and where you're calling from? Speak on it. Brandon from Cincinnati. What's going on, though? Brandon from Cincinnati. What's the dealio, famo? I got a question, man. I'm trying to get a better understanding of what a satellite is. I've never heard the term. Is it more of a friends with benefits or does the nigga get some pussy out the deal? Or is this like a friend zone nigga? Oh, watch this. The car, watch this. We're going to let the ladies answer. Tiffany, Mimi, Joel, Ariane, no, go. Well, I think the way we're using it in the show is definitely like, you know, a friend zoned person. But I, I honestly personally think it could be both. It could be like a friends with benefits, but that's really just cheating at that point. Uh, but for the for the sake of this conversation, I think we've all been using satellite as the friend zone dude that you know you could 
you know, transition if you wanted to. Transition, nigga. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, brother. Wait, wait, wait. Mimi's going to answer you. All of the girls are going to answer you. Then I'm going to let you speak again, okay? All right, Mimi. Yeah, so this is definitely someone that, you know, they like you. You're in a relationship. Your relationship may be a little on shaky ground of some part or another. And here's this guy trying to, you know, smooth things over with you or show you that he's better than your guy. Or even better, try to tell you how he would treat you better, how he would never do that to you. And so we're identifying that these people, not only are they friends, but they're also, they're trying to steal your relationship. They're trying to steal you out that relationship mm. and bring you into their home or into their orbit with them. Well, if she took him, he was never mine. Right. <laughs> hey! Right. True. Joel. Yeah, it's definitely like a using that vulnerable state that the female is in and taking advantage of it while you kind of like have them off guard. It's like coming in. I don't know. Never mind. I was about to say something. It didn't make sense. But yeah, it's definitely like just trying to w ease your way in there without like starting from scratch almost as opposed to a guy that has to like work from the bottom to the top. You already are, know that person and you're just like trying to use any anything negative going on in her life and you're trying to be that positive light at every time she's down with her 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 bill grooming yeah. he's grooming too right. the satellite is grooming her too right if yeah. i'm always there if i always show up you know niggas love to let women down mm -hmm. but if i don't mm -hmm. right she's, she's gonna, gonna pay off Baby, yep. right and that, goes, right. and that goes a long way sometimes because right. if the dude is always standing you up and this guy is not, that, that plays a role. That's like, yeah. I agree with them. It's a friend zone type of person, a friend zone with them extra benefits. And I feel like, um, like you know, that person that you're, that satellite person is that person you're going to confide in, tell stuff to, speak to in a manner that you feel like you're not comfortable or able to speak to your current situation with. But with them, it's easy to just express yourself and, you know, they make you feel comfortable. But you know what's crazy? Women love the gray area. <laughs> Y'all like to be hella definitive with your dude, but hella gray with the satellite. So so there's so there's a justification. There's a justification, right? So women gotta always have like a reason, right? Like so, for instance, we never fucked. How, how did you even think that it was like that? <laughs> but y'all keep it gray on purpose. True, that's a true, true fact. Right. So he can never say, you said it was all good. You got that right. Even though in your mind, you stay close to him because he's an option. Yeah. True. See, and that's a little different than just a friend zone nigga. Sometimes the friend zone this nigga ugly, this nigga broke, True. this nigga ain't shit, but he's always here. Or you can get you a fine friend zone nigga. You not go first off, you fucking fine. Nah, not all the 90 time. 90% of the time. Okay, well, you still got that 10. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, I still got a chance of winning the lottery. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> Typically, Ugh. fine gets fucked, both men and women. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Mm, I don't know. Cause I, I mean, I had a frying friend zone. Yeah. And I never touched, but I was, ooh, baby, baby. I mean, I, I agree. Got. I agree, but I, it, it doesn't pertain to me. But I, I get what you're saying. Nothing pertains ever <laughs> pertains to you. Hey, she's different. I'm different. I'm different. <laughs> I will say there's one difference though. If you're in a good relationship, like I think a lot of women, we do keep satellites around. Like I said, I'm in like a cleansing situation so I really am cleansing them out but we keep them around but if you're in a healthy relationship you tend to like Mimi was saying out of disrespect for understanding identifying what it is you will groom them out like if you're really in a healthy relationship you're going to recognize you don't even need the satellite because you should be able to tell your spouse or your significant mm -hmm. other all the things that the satellite you normally would tell the satellite if things are rocky so that's where the satellites really know what they're doing. Because, like, especially if it's the opposite wait sex. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The satellites know what they're doing. It just sounds like excuses. Yes. No, not it an excuse. Sounds like blame. But, like, if you're in a healthy relationship, most of the time, women will go to their female friends 
So if you're coming to another man, if it's not just for like, give me perspective on this, but you're actually talking shit about your dude, a dude already knows what that means when you're talking shit about your dude to another dude. Not blaming it on them, but as a female, you know what you're doing too. And if you're a female who says you don't know he's a satellite and you're talking shit about your dude to another dude, you are a, a, a fuck girl. But wait. Like... You shouldn't be talking shit about your dude to any other dude. That's a sign right there. He's but a satellite. But wait, there's another layer here. A lot of times women keep satellite niggas around so they can get a male perspective, right, that their man isn't giving them. See, you might be with your man on some bullshit. He pay the bills. Everything is solid. Mm-hmm. He work. But this nigga's deficient in certain areas. And it ain't always got to be dick. Right. So you'll maintain a satellite relationship to get whatever masculine vitamins (laughs) that you're not getting at home. But I don't know. This is like a a question. (laughs) Is it if, if you have that other male option in your life as far as I don't mean option as far as like somebody else you would talk to. But I mean like another male person in your life that literally you're strictly friends with and Maybe let's say like he's in a relationship and you speak to him as far as like getting advice as what to do to uh, on a certain subject in your relationship. Is that really like your satellite or is that really just your friend? Listen, I don't know. It's just let me just say, can women and I'm talking, I need to know from a, a female perspective. Then I'm going back to the caller. Caller, stick with me, okay? I got you. Women, be honest. Can you really? Be friends with a dude. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yes. A heterosexual yes. Yes. dude. 100%. Yes. 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 Some of them are. 1000%. 100%. I can be friends. Oh Strictly platonic. Yes. Nothing yes. going on. No interest. Nothing. They, they can walk out the restroom with, their, out with a towel. They shouldn't, but I'm just saying yeah. there's no interest. There's no yeah. moves to be made. <sighs> If you're yeah. my friend, I mean, I have friends, like, I went to Westchester High, right? Most people that went to Westchester High, they grew up in, like, 85 to, like, 92 are, like, really tight. There's almost like a fraternity. So most of us call each other brother and sisters, right? And there's yeah. a lot of us. I mean, like, I have a lot of people that I call brother and sister. And I really look at them like that. I don't look at them, and they can be fine as I don't know what. A lot of dudes from Westchester are very good looking, okay? And girls are good looking, too. Westchester was known, hands down, had the baddest, some of the baddest back in the day, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But most of these people are friends. So my, my point that I'm making is it's definitely possible, and I know it's a a numerous of people that are just friends. Yeah. Now they may hope that you change their mind, your mind one day. But other than right. that, they're your friend. They don't cross. Right. Possible, exactly. not probable. <laughs> Caller, <laughs> you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Welcome to the Voice of Reason. Caller, who's on my line? Caller, hello. Go back. Did we have them or did, are they gone? Caller, you're on the voice of reason. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. What's up? This is D from Dallas. D from Dallas. Do you believe the words that are coming out of the mouths of these women? Man, I'm going to say this. Uh, I'm married now, 39 years old. And I believe that a woman could be friends with a man. Because I got a friend that, you know, we've been friends since fourth grade. And... Throughout the years, I mean, she's fine as hell, but I never thought about, you know, approaching her like that. Have you ever thought about having sex with her? <laughs> no, no, not even once. And she fine as hell? Fine as hell. Before you got married, did you ever think about having sex with her? No, not once. I'm going to need you to make a doctor's appointment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> right. Right. I'm straight. <laughs> sexual all the time. You know, that's it, that's the truth. I mean, I keep it 100. You know, I never thought about it nothing. That, that's truly my friend. I mean, you know, any problems, you know, I mean, not in my marriage, but any other problems, you know, I talk to them about it. I got you. I got you. Oh, my God. Tonight's topic, man. It's an amazing topic. I love it. I feel like you can have real friends like that you just feel nothing towards like they really your homie. No, I, got I believe that homies. too. I believe that too. Like I've never like felt anything to them, but I'm loyal to them. They're those are my bros, like for facts. I just think it's rare as hell. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Welcome to the Voice of Reason. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Turn, turn your entire life down. Turn it down just a little bit so I can hear you. What's up, man? What's going on? What's happening, man? Are you listening to the show? Oh, yeah. What's going on? I had you on speaking. My bad. So we know that's some bullshit, man. Boys, dudes saying they can be friends with a broad, man. They don't. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. Is this wait, hold on. This is I'ma say this. This just beat me. That beat me. Come on, man. Come in here and speak 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 just the just gospel. Me. I'ma move out your way. Go ahead, bro. No, don't move out the way, man. I'm gonna try to be as polite as I can be, man. But you know that's some bullshit. Unless some guys sidewalk sissies or suspect sissies. Ain't no way no heterosexual dude gonna be around such <laughs> significant voluptuousness and, and cuteness, <laughs> especially that woman that you're It's in. hard. That's yeah. my friend. That's the bullshit. They never know that line unless they think. That's the only way it's possible for a real man. But it's, it's, it's possible for them, you know, because, you know, they have a different kind of mechanism that comes within their uh, genetic makeup. But as far as us, man, niggas is lying, man. The niggas is trying to play on them up, play on them women's Psyche and try to make it seem like they're such a fucking gentleman. This motherfucker's fine. I agree. I agree. It's a bunch I think, of lies. I man. think you're Thank just you. thirsty if you can't just maintain yourself. That's what I think. Like, First off, know. okay, right, we're about to get right, into this. I'll take that what you said, but look, look at you. Have you seen me today? I have no, seen I myself. Look at you. I see myself seen, every day. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Here's what won't happen I could be cordial with you, I cannot be. I, I, I cannot sit around you with my tongue wagging. I cannot. I, well, I, I can sit around you and just be as polite and as gentlemanly as I possibly can. But if you ever give me inclination that you will lick, lick that ass, the <laughs> ass gonna be a well and completely and totally consumed. Lick Where are you from? Uh, Where are you like to Lord. lick ass on the first day, oh, baby? Damn. Yes. Yes. Wow. You no. might okay. need to. Okay, listen. <laughs> if it's about licking ass on the first day, if it ain't fit to lick, it ain't fit to fuck. Ooh, Ooh right. hey, man. But you ain't answer the question. Where are you from? <laughs> Listen, he, hey, you're new. This, hey, you are new, Joel. This is a classic caller. His name is, I'ma say this. That's all you need to know. All right. Listen, He's a legend. And I apologize. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be this way, you know, if we were out. But I just want to know where you're and if, and if She wants to know where you're from. He's from Detroit. I'm, no, no, you I'm said from Georgia? Georgia. 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 Oh, that's right. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I definitely feel like you it's, it's self control. Like you know how to control yourself. You, you if you really truly is looking for a for true friendship from this person, then that's exactly what it'll be. Now, if you have other intentions, then that's what it's gonna be too. Right. right. I, I like that. Aunts, I got aunts and female cousins I can be friends with as far as a female. I can be friends with them. But then that's a conflict of interest because that's your family. So they always no, gonna side no. with you. What no, he's saying no, is no, he's that saying that he don't need you a friend he don't them, need you to I'm be not his friend. To fuck them. That's what he's saying. Right. Oh, well, we exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would never I would never do that to my self. Now you could do it to me, but do it to my self. Just know if I'm around, I will be your back out of you. What? The struggle. <laughs> hey man, I appreciate the call. Thank you so much, brother. Wow. Hey, I just feel like that's just you just extra thirsty. Like just relax. Like, you know, even if you are, I've been around some men, I'm like, Lord, have mercy. But I mean, you know what? I love their vibe and this is a friendship and I want this friendship. I like the the things that we both bring to the table as a friendship and I want them around me as my friend. La la la. La la la. <laughs> Women in here. Bullshit. No, I was gonna say fact. no. I'll keep it super real. One, this I'm I'm just gonna put it out here. This conversation is totally different, and I'll just own it. My friend, my best friend, and I talk about this all the time. It is true, especially if you're a beautiful woman, you are being dumb as fuck if you don't think all of these dudes saying they're your friends wouldn't fuck if you gave them the chance. If and I'm not gonna be ignorant. Yeah, I'm not gonna be ignorant. All of these dudes would fuck if I gave them the chance. But if the boundary is there and you ain't never stepped over it, we can be friends. But yeah, I'd be dumb as hell to think with all these curves and all this everything and this face and this whatever that you ain't gonna try to get up in it someday if I let you get up in it. <sighs> yeah, but that, yeah, I agree with that. But that still does not mean that you know just because you, you can't maintain your friendship, like it's not truly this is a friendship. You know, that's what anybody like if you go outside and be just running to random person, be like, oh, you know, you give it to him. 
yeah, they're going to take it because it's it's uh, it's easily accessible. But here's my problem. You guys are moralizing right now. But at the same time, earlier, you've already said that you guys maintain these satellite yes, relationships. I'm, yes, but I also have real relationships, too. I have real friendships. Yes, I have, that's what I, I was going to say. I've had yeah. satellites, but I've had real genuine. Yes. I have currently real genuine homies. Like, these yes. are my bros. Yeah, no, I have well, a... Put your gun away while you're talking. <laughs> Shit. The fuck? Right. Uh, go but ahead, Mimi. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's two different things. There's two different sides of the road. There's the ones that you did have a satellite. Maybe he was hot. He was attractive. You, was, you know, he said all the right things, and that's one type of person. But there's the people that you may have grown up with. They're your good friend. They were your neighbor down the street. You played hide and seek with, not hide and go get it, but hide and seek. <laughs> and y'all remain cool all your life, and you looked at them like family. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? You and know, you, hide and go seek is pre fucking. Oh, I know. Hide, get, hide, go get it, and then they hide for you in the certain areas, knowing you' about to come. Like right. I'm over here. Right. Come That's find me. That's what I'm saying. Come I don't have. I, don't, I cannot relate. <laughs> Anybody I played hide and go seek with, I can fuck today. What? Yeah. You yeah, everybody I play hide and go seek with. We, I don't know. Yeah, well, Who's I never you playing did it with? To, I never did My it. friends. Some damn hyenas. Call oh! You're on the line. What's your uh, name and where you're calling from? Welcome hey. to the voice of <laughs> <laughs> The disrespect. What up, callers? Oh, Hustle. What up, man? Yo, you know, I got a call in the back of my man's. So I'm going to say this. <laughs> Back him like up, man. man. Back him it's up. It's tricky when you try to. Yeah, it's tricky when you try to ask women about friends and satellites and all that because they'll be real quick to say oh yeah we could be friends we could just be friends but understand so i'm on the off chance you go ahead and offer that man so i'm in that night you could be friends but y'all ain't just friends you understand right, right. right. i get you mm, right. you know there's going to be traction one way or the other it's just natural but at the same time the way i've looked at satellites i have a little different perspective on it in my growth i've come to realize they could be beneficial ah say more you see because the thing about satellites is satellites is like fire to women. They like to play with fire. They like to have a man around that they're not messing with just to be like, oh, well, you know, it's like keeping your, your sword sharp. That kind of thing. Oh, I, I still got it. I said that, yeah. Mess. You see what I'm talking about? So for me, I ain't even going to get mad at that because I realize if I got my game on point, I ain't got to worry about no satellite. Mm. As long as I'm on top of mine, they can't come in and take what I got anyway. So keep all the satellites you want they could keep hovering they keep me sharp you feel me wow that's, that's interesting that's, that's interesting right. good oh, look oh, good look hustle we, it, we appreciate it. it but you know what what did you say that <laughs> i don't know if you said that. i did listen you're gonna have to speak english instead of smurf um, <laughs> mimi go ahead oh no i was just gonna chime in and say you know <laughs> it reminded me of a time i was going to this one uh, church and I had a prayer partner, and we would pray together, this and that. And so I thought we were just friends. This is what I thought. You the know, guy prayer was... partners be getting cooter. Well, no, that's what I'm telling you. Well, let me tell you what ended up happening. It was crazy because I really looked at it as a friend. No, really, because, I mean, right, right. I can do that. I don't, you know, first of all, I do business. You got to do business with a man without fucking him or else you're a hoe. Ho. You right, can't do right. business without dropping your drawers. Then right. you got a problem, boo. Right. Period. Yes. Right. Okay, so, but I'm saying I was cool with him. Thought we were good, telling him my business. One day he came to me and told me, you know, I really like you. But I, I was like, well, you really like me? I said, but I've been telling you all my business. Like, I really was, like, praying with this guy, like, you know, praying for my relationship, praying that things would be a little bit more peaceful at home. But this guy really liked me, so his prayers were ineffective, and they were not true. Yeah. So you used the word of God in a, in a horrible light as far as I was concerned. Right. I actually cut all ties. Like, I don't want to be your friend anymore. <laughs> if you're trying to play with me through the word of God... You go play by yourself, boo, because you got right. somebody else to answer to. I didn't come, you know, linking up with you. Your you prayer partner was a pimp. Yeah, <laughs> he was using the word of God to get with he me, was. and he, he was praying. Friend. Okay, and uh, you know, but he always spoke bad about my mate. So that that's always the red flag. Whenever they want to speak bad, or or what they do is they'll try to throw some nice stuff in there so you get a little confused. But don't yeah. be confused. Pay attention. Is it more negative than positive? Any negative is just like you know, because right. if you're really my friend, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna like men help me mend my situation, not sit here and add more fuel to my fury. Like wrong, yeah, he is. He, he right. you wrong. leave that nigga. I saw that nigga at the club. Wrong. Well, dang, this is what y'all don't understand about men, hmm. especially the ones you've sentenced to penitentiary. <laughs> Stop it. 
please understand the only reason why we stay in Frenitentiary, because Frenitentiary has no bars. Right. The only reason why we stay in Frenitentiary is because, number one, we're fucking other girls right. while we're grooming you. Right. <laughs> okay. Number two, just, just, just understand. We feel like we can wait you out. Right. We feel like the seeds we plant of dissension... <laughs> right? Because we're like, this nigga here has a club foot. Please you are crazy. The fuck are you doing? Did you see that nigga's extra heel? Jesus. See how big that heel is on his left foot? This, come He's on. a psychopath. No, I'm just saying, we will find any little imperfection and blow it up. This nigga didn't call you back? See? Fuck you think he's doing? Facts. Do you understand? That's the average dude. That's not all dudes. That's some but all. Some but not all. But the reality of it is, I try, I try to tell women this all the time. First off, you're going to get who you are. Right. Yep. If you ain't shit but you think you shit, you're going to still get some shit. Right. That's number one. Number two, like these really dope Beings, whether they be male or female, are far and few and in between. So right. for the most part, you're going to get a project that's designed to help you finish the project of you. That's what you're going to get. So stop playing all this. See, this is why the, sa the satellite being exists. Because tell me women aren't ladder climbers. Mm, men are too, though. Hold yes. on, pimp. We're in our society. We're designed to to come with a ladder, yeah. and women are evaluating the quality of the ladder we present. It's what is right. this nigga's ladder made of? This nigga, got a, this nigga got a plastic right. ladder. Got a Paper, <laughs> right? So wood. if we walk up with a, with a plastic toolbox, y'all look okay. This will do for now. But that nigga done came in here with a cast iron toolbox. <laughs> it is going to last forever. I'm about to groom and maintain this nigga. Because I know plastic toolbox over here, these Lego tools, is about to melt. Are you telling me women don't do that in general? That's a, that's a crude metaphor. They're dumb. They're dumb. Yeah. Say more. Because to me, like, that's why I'm like, maybe we just have different, like, like opinions of what a satellite is because to me there is no satellite with a cast iron or whatever you say toolbox and then my dude have a plastic there ain't no way there's no way then why are you my dude if it's plastic like shit if it's not it's not all the way there why are you mine like why is this perfect guy that's like oh he does this for me he does this for me the satellite there's no way like any satellite he just he's there to help me feel better uh -huh. but that's about it that's why i was saying like yes i use him to like when i'm irritated he's like you don't deserve that whatever whatever like that's what i like that that positive so the satellite guy actually builds up your ego in a little bit it, it make, yes to wow. make you feel better and we are friends yeah that's what they do because what do they do when you talk to them about your problems what do they do they build you up and talk shit about the dude right they're building up your ego making you feel better like you don't deserve him you don't deserve that like they they make you feel better it's obvious that's what they're there for that's why you talk to them that's why you confide in them because of whatever they the feedback they give you makes you feel good that's hope, why they're around i hope you guys are listening this but they know that they know that and that's what i'm saying like he he's and like you said he's like oh yeah He's your satellite, but he's fucking other girls. Exactly. It's like that you have a purpose. You're labeled a satellite for a reason, and that's about as far as it's going to go. You made that decision. You're going to keep waiting it out. You're not really waiting it out. You're just like, you, like you're just waiting for that opportunity to like maybe, maybe catch me off guard and like slide up in there and we do to do. But again, you're still never going to be that guy. Well, and they in know his that. mind, I don't think so. But I'm just saying, in a man's mind, not all satellites. Once he crosses that end zone line, it doesn't matter if it for the mo, for the average right. dude. Right. Right. But I if, scored the touchdown. Okay, but the, if the that's game's all, over. But right. then and but, we're done. But okay, that's fine then. Because if then if that's all they really <laughs> wanted, then they never really wanted to be with me anyway. And again, they're not going to be more than just a satellite. It's right. still proving my right. point. 
He's still not going to be nothing else I but like. that. That's why I want you to talk more instead of folding your arms like a spoiled little because, brat. Because, man, Call y'all her. be listening. Whatever. We do be listening. <laughs> y'all be listening. <laughs> they don't. They, they don't, don't be listening. They don't be listening, man. They don't Love hear it. me. You're on The Voice of Reason. What's your name and where you're calling from? Speak on it. <laughs> Joel gonna beat you up. <laughs> no, <laughs> my nerves about to be smacked down. Yo, what's happening? Yo, I wanted to call back to tell the ladies that I'm not a satellite. <laughs> oh, good. Look, I'm not thinking of following from you. They wanted to know that because I live win. in Syracuse and people just go to SU and they come from the morning too, and they everybody goes up there to fornicate. So if your girl ever hangs out with anybody in Syracuse other than you. She fucked him. Like, okay, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he hold putting on. everybody on blast. Hold on, though. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Syracuse is wait, the school wait, of hoes. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me help you real quick. Don't ever use the word fornicate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Stop it. He sounds like a Mormon or a fucking Quaker. You're not oh, going to get any pussy sounding like a Mormon or a Quaker. I'm just going to oh, let you know. Damn. He might. Don't he can Mormon. get him some Mormon or Quaker. Like, you know, they might, might like no. that. They, Mormons or Quakers might be attracted. No, no, no. You no, never know. No, 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 no. no. Right. Don't ever use he the word. He don't have to say fuck, but he don't have to say fornicate. I could understand that. Right. I can understand that. You're so polite. You sound like a 19-year-old bishop. Okay, thank you. We appreciate the call. We appreciate you. Wow. You're great. Phone he lines. Is great. I love it though. You know, Call her. the innocence. We're yeah. on the line. The innocence is beautiful. What's yeah. your name and where Keep you calling from? Right. This is uh, Mike from Kansas City. Yes, Mike. Hey, uh, I agree with the guy calling earlier. Uh, I think his name was I'ma say or I'ma uh, something like that. Say uh, this. I'ma say this. It's hard for guys to be in a friend zone with an attractive woman. It is torture, however, it is first. To use the ladies uh, in the studio, for example, if I'm friends with, say, me, me, and she knows me, she knows my character, whether I'm looking for a relationship or just somebody to mess around with, she might have a friend on the same path as me, so she basically knows my cover story because her friend might actually want to see the resume. Whoa. Super. Mm, yep, Whoa. that part. Super. We call it the referral. Yeah. Okay. That's me all day. Uh, I got so many of my guy friends' pussy. It was amazing. They Facts. Was, I got yeah. I got somebody in for you. Hold right. on. Shoot. Not right. only that, when you're with other guys, girls want them more. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. When I go oh, out with my guy man. friends, just they my want them. The girls want them, and that's yeah. perfect because I'm not Cause dating like an either. element of, right, right. of trying to get Exactly. Yeah. Shoot. My daddy used to tell me, he said, girl, they wouldn't even be looking at me if you wasn't here. But they own me. I'm right. like, well, right. do it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they like to get something that they already don't have. So it's like, like oh, ooh. he with her? Oh, for like, real? Right. Sure. You know? Okay. Yeah. Ladies, have you ever sentenced someone you were very interested in to life in frenitentiary because you found out they had an incurable STD? Oh, no. I thought you were going to say a small oh. dick. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm sure your mean ass say, yep. has sent small dicks away. <laughs> yep. I know I'm small, but your dick is smaller. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm already a grumpy Smurf, so okay, no. Okay, do not what do with this? What do do? You know? Um, I can't really answer that question because I, as far as I know, none of my homies got <laughs> right. uh, STDs and... <laughs> And then, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't you look, know. all I can give you is a um, It's a lot of stuttering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't. Somebody else is going to have to answer that question. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Callers, <laughs> you're on the line. We're talking about relationship satellites. Wow. Relationship options who hover around your current relationship. You maintain the relationship with them, you keep them close. You'd be pissed off if they started dating somebody else. <laughs> Caller! What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Caller? Caller? Yes, sir. So, Williams, how you doing today, brother? Man, I'm up in here with these hyenas. <laughs> yeah. well, unicorn. You in there with unicorns, brother. You know that. Some there you them. go. Some there you them. go. They have little yeah. stumpy so this horns. Is, this is brother Ron Wilson, though. Zoe, how you doing? What's happening, Ron Wilson? What's the deal? Uh, I'm, I'm well. I'm well. Uh, I just wanted to chime in. It, it, it's it's kind of weird from a male perspective hearing attractive women sort of say what they don't do. 
I, I'm more impressed with that one lady who spoke on her story about back in college when she was sleeping with the dudes, you know, because I, I really can't stand people that front. Mm. And I, I got to call some bullshit here, man. There has to be some women in there that have done some of the things that they're saying. They That's don't. what I'm saying. Hey, I lay mine so, on the so table. So all we're asking is, is keep it real, ladies. You know, we don't know you. We, you don't have nothing to lose with us. Stop trying to put this front on. I don't miss mm. that grumpy first. My lord, dude, I couldn't deal with that, brother. I'm gonna be honest what are you with you. Talking about what are you okay. saying? <laughs> it's I'm being honest. I'm sorry. I have. I don't have like stories like that. But this is my life. Like I'm not trying to like put up a front though. I'm. Yeah. If you ask me anything, I'm gonna be honest. But like Facts. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't have that for you. So don't. But you do realize the energy you're putting off is completely alpha. It, it sort of goes against the feminist nature that you should have. What's a feminist? What so do you, you mean? You're kind of contradicting. You know what I mean? It, I'm, I'm just getting, I like, should a, a have? Like, why are you saying I should have a fem- feminist, feminist nature? nature. Yeah. Facts. Like, I I'm think he was trying to say feminine nature. Oh, I, I, thought, he said, I, I, I thought he I, I, said I, I, feminist. I'm like, why do I got to be a feminist? Yeah, but, but, but even it seems he, like you're kind of crossing yourself. So, I mean, that was just my thing, though. I mean, I think you need to address <sighs> more of the... You got to call some BS on some of this stuff, brother. And I'm not going to take up your time because I know it's a lot of people calling. But you all be well. Keep it real for us. I mean, like I said, we don't know you. We don't y'all care. And, and if not, though, just get more women in here. That's going to keep it real. You know plenty of them. So, shit. All right, you man. I appreciate well. the call. Thank Pull you very the, much. Let's do this. Really, the Hold on. Pray for Let's you. do Paul. this. Right. What's wrong with that? Let's do this. Uh oh. Okay. Cause that was just like he, was, so he must have came he in on the tail end of the conversation. Question, but you don't have to come for me. Yeah, like, and then he probably could, came in on the tail end. Don't come for Mean Smurf unless Mean Smurf sends Some for you. you. I'm just saying, like, you can ask me a question, and if you are confused about something or I don't understand, like my my logic, that's one thing you can ask. Yeah. But you don't ever have to come for me. That's that's something you don't do. That's disrespectful. Yeah, and then it's like I think he probably came in on the tail end conversation because we've all. Personally I'm sorry. stated okay, things that we have do. done. This is what I gotta do. This is what I gotta do. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I gotta ask this question, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna take a quick break and come right back. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we need a break. <laughs> <laughs> if you're married, is it realistic to think that you could entertain a non-sexual, affectionate relationship with someone of the opposite sex? That's out. That's out. That's Don't out. You are a Boyne Dexter if you do. A what? A Boyne Dexter. Bird. Can you repeat it for me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're not listening. It's cool. No, I just someone asked me a question. Here it is again. Thank you. If you're currently married, is it realistic to think you could entertain a non-sexual affectionate relationship with someone of the opposite sex. No. That's out because it's going to turn into sexual, especially if you entertain it the right way, and especially if they catch you, you on guys, your off day. No, a, <laughs> you know, when you're going to... That was a trick question because you guys... Um, oh, oh, never mind. Well, uh, okay, is it, go it's, it's possible. I think it's possible, but I don't think it's right. If that's... Okay, maybe I answered your question wrong. Then that means all of the shit y'all said earlier what do you, is bullshit. What do you mean? As far as what? Y'all let's take this break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because maybe, <laughs> maybe you're catching my answer wrong. So let's take this break. Then. Got him. Let's take this break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm Facts. about to take a quick break. We'll be back in 2.2 seconds. I'm going to holler in a second. Ooh, wee. Don't do it. I got a wild group of stallions. <laughs> Facts. They in here turned up. This topic done ruffled. Some ruffles. <laughs> okay, some bodies. Feathers have been plucked. Okay. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's going down in here. X. She really an angry Smurf. <laughs> hey, we all I A. She could she part of look. I need you in my squad. I need somebody right. to turn up with me. She <laughs> like that. Turn down my, for what? Right. 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 You feel me? I'm gonna let you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Now, if you're just tuning into the Voice of Reason on Dash Talk Radio, man, Jesus, we got a great topic. Relationship satellites. A relationship satellite? What is that? Gosh, do you have relationships that you maintain with intimate options while you're currently in an intimate relationship? You're not going to fuck with them yet. You got a bad feeling about where this thing might end up. It could come back, but it could not. So I need relationship foreign relations. I need to maintain, keep these options close to me. 
Oh my God. Definitely. If you're in a marriage, is it realistic to think that you could maintain a non sexual relationship, but an affectionate one with someone of the opposite sex? Marriage or no marriage, that's out. <clears throat> out. Mm-hmm. Marriage or no marriage is out. Period. Huh. You know? If you got a satellite and you're in a relationship with somebody, it's wrong. Period. This is coming from the women who told us earlier. Yep. And I told you, I done had a satellite and it was wrong. You know, I should have stayed with my relationship. Whether my relationship, I thought it was going down the drain or not. That is, as my my job is to walk away from the situation and move on or stick with it and figure it out, not sit here and have a satellite. How often do women walk away from the situation? <clears throat> Often, often. If the relationship is not right, yeah, they definitely walk away. And, and walk away physically, mentally, or physically. I'm saying walk <laughs> away from the satellite. Oh, walk away oh, from the satellite. Oh, that's easy. How often do you guys keep the satellite at bay? Let me. You're, just, you're grooming this motherfucker for I've something. I've had satellites that were in my life for like some years. Like you said, Zoe, men will wait you out. Mm-hmm. And so my situation really was, <laughs> I was in denial for real, and that's not an excuse, but I really was like in this place. I was like, I grew up with older brothers. I've always got along with boys better. Like, all those excuses that fuck girls give themselves to justify why we have hella gangs of dudes around that would fuck on demand. Like, all those excuses. So, I don't believe if you're in a monogamous, serious relationship, you should entertain satellites because it is someone who is going to eventually be a distraction to a point where they can interject in your relationship. But you and that's guys disrespectful. Do but it. I, Again, people do it every day. But what happened for me was to help me again. I was like, I was going through therapy for sex addiction, all that. My spouse really, well, at the time we was, you know, making the steps to be more serious before getting married. He challenged me to, uh, I would say, activity. Because he was like, oh, really? None of these dudes would smash? I'm like, no, they're just my friends. And in my head, I really thought that, like, no, they're just my friends. He said, right now, we were sitting down to go to a movie. He said... He's like, I won't be mad. No bullshit. He's like, just text every homeboy in your phone right now you want to fuck. He's like, everybody that says what? yes, delete them. Everybody who says no or like, girl, you're playing, they get to stay. It was about 40 dudes up in my phone that I text, I want to fuck before the movie. Guess how many of those dudes made it to stay in my phone after the movie? How many? Four. So you telling me 36 niggas was like. No, I don't really want to fuck. No, thirty six no, were like, "Girl, live. yes, let's oh, okay, smash." Right. Only four of them were like, "Girl, Tiffany, you're so funny, you're exactly. silly." Because a lot of were girls are in gay? denial. They like to make the, all those stupid fuck girl excuses. Like they're just friends. They, I don't really like him. Doesn't but, matter if he likes you. He's going. If you don't like him. He's going to fuck you, and you know he's a satellite. Were the were the four guys who said no? Were they gay? No. They probably knew she was playing. No. These were heterosexual men that These said no. These were dudes that I've had been friends with for, for a long time that knew my nature and, like, really knew, like, yeah, if I said I want to fuck you, I'm either already in your house fucking you or you're we're just homeboy and homegirl. So those four are legit people that I, like, we've never fucked. We still homeboy, homegirl through everything. So did you do what your husband asked you to do? Did you I did. Do I delete all of those things <laughs> on my phone. They were gone. And now that you're getting a divorce, do you, did you get their numbers again? Some I did them? not. Okay. Now, mind you, now that they have heard that I'm getting a divorce, have, I would say a good 10 of them hit my DM since then. Yes, but I still don't talk to them because they show their two colors. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Wow. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. Women. But I challenge Netflix. some girls who, like, a lot of girls are in denial about this whole satellite concept like no they're not a satellite girl go text all these dudes in your phone you want to fuck see what happens but sometimes i think that's a great experiment uh oh yeah Joel? i was gonna say but sometimes it's not um a denial thing it's like because i feel like some guys don't show that much because they're they're scared of getting rejected or whatever they don't even there's some guys that don't even hint and make those type of comments and they're literally just keep mum but help will secretly have a crush on you and they're just like, if they felt like they had a good ch- a, a chance, maybe they would start to uh, plant those seeds in your head. But uh, sometimes it's not denial. Like like I said, I had a friend that told me that someone had a crush on me and I had no idea who, like that it would ever. Ha- I was like, no, you're lying. Like, no way. Like, we don't, we don't, he barely like hits me up. Like, he don't be like putting the hard eyes on my shit or, you know, it's like. <laughs> It's like he doesn't give me any signs that he's ever been interested, but like secretly they they do because they just are scared of getting rejected. So they'll just like keep be quiet. <laughs> yeah. 
Ain't nobody scared of getting re- well. Some guys are. Some guys are. Yes, they're not. Some. They're, and it's not even a, that they lack confidence within themselves because they can get bitches. But it's like they just felt like, nah, I'm. I don't even want to put myself out there with her because like I care about our friendship, and I don't even know she would like like mess with me like that because I'm cool with her, so I know what she likes and stuff. That's but like, so satellite though. No, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying yeah. like I don't know that they are because right. they're right. like they're having this conversation with someone else right. or themselves or themselves, yeah. yeah. The reason I'm really careful about this, though, is because I've had a friend, and she was kind of doing that. She had a satellite relationship while married, and she ended up getting Mm -hmm. busted. And when she did, she lost her husband, and the satellite she didn't even want as a real relationship. So she lost the one she loved for for something that wasn't even worth it. Like, she got the booby prize. She lost her prize (laughs) and got the booby prize. It's like getting getting the prize from the Cracker Jack box. She got a stick on sticker Mm -hmm. when she had a real one at home. (laughs) She had a home, a family, Mm -hmm. children, Mm -hmm. dogs. Fish, all the whole setup, wow. and you lost everything for a good time. So to me, if you really sounds have something like most good, women I know. Uh, you know what? I don't, but you know, I don't think it's worth it. I think it, I think it's not worth it if you're getting what you need at home. But if a person's not giving you what you need and you're lacking in some sort of way, let's go into that. This is I, big. Yeah, this, if you're you're la- just, if, if you're, she just hit on something that I think we should go into. Let's yes. let's let me let me let me let me set this up. Okay. Okay. So you said. Mm-hmm. Lacking something at home. Yes. What are the prerequisites that are supposed to come from home? That's interesting. Yes. Well, communication is one. number one. They need to talk to they you. They need to talk. They need to have um, an understanding of one another. So they need to have communication and understanding. as well. It's not just hearing, but understanding what right. the person is right. saying. Right. 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 They have to create an environment that produces understanding. Yeah. Right. A right. communicative environment. Absolutely. Go deeper. Absolutely. I would say they have to, too. They have to have security, yep. trust, uh-huh. love. Number one is love. I mean, you shouldn't even be there if that doesn't exist. Right. Well, number one. Then nobody and, should be anywhere because right. love is rare. Go ahead. Uh-oh. Yes. Right. Let's, let's right. finish. Also, there should be time, and time meaning whether that's sitting and watching a movie at home, running a bubble bath for your man, breakfast in bed, whatever it is, but time. You right. know, that doesn't have to be time. going out. Quality time. Uh, right. I like, uh, yes, yeah. yes, quality. Quality, and, quality and time. Quality, let's go deeper into quality. Quality is interest. Yes. Yes. Because you, you can't have quality unless you're interested in the person. Mm-hmm. Right? Absolutely. Right. 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 Absolutely. Okay, go, go, go ahead. Say right. more. And see, <laughs> and see, and then that's when you really know that you have something special when you can sit on the couch and be happy with just each just, other. Yeah. You mm-hmm. love them so much, that's enough for you. Yeah. Right. See, see, that's when I know I really care about somebody. That's enough for me. Because otherwise, I'm like, where the food at? Where we going? Where, where we going? going? Ain't this ain't fun. Yeah. I'm cool. That's yeah. where I was going. Right. That right. is the reason why I was questioning. Right, right, yeah. right. Because quality is different than stimulation. Absolutely. Facts. Absolutely. Yes. So it has to be quality time. Because oh. you could have a man, he could say, oh, I, I come home every night, but he's out all day with the next ex. You feel me? Well, you know what you just did, though? What? You justified having satellite relationships. I did. You know how many houses, <laughs> you know how many homes and relationships and marriages are devoid and bereft of quality? Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You just justified the reason for the satellite. But go ahead. No, no, no. I want you to look at him. They, are y'all periods going to sink up. No. Oh, <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually about the rebuttal. So I'm actually about the rebuttal. So <laughs> well, go ahead. I want you to finish. Right. But I mean, all of that stuff is very important because have you ever been in a situation you're driving home and, and it's not a happy feeling? As you're driving home, you're right. feeling like, oh, God. This gotta, motherfucker right, is over I, there. Right. I'm tired of this fool. Waiting on a nigga. Right. Yeah. Playing ghetto games. And then, right. and then you text your satellite. But what have, you doing? I have a question. I have a question you know for you, Zo. So as far as like when you're in a relationship and you. Your questions don't count. Oh, but I'm still going to ask. I'm the leader of this shit. <laughs> so you don't get I, to ask me I questions. Do, no, I do. I do. I do. I'm just getting the Wizard of Oz style. So, Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so. If you're in a relationship and, okay, you know, you've been in that relationship for a while, you know, people, they say they get their satellites because they're lacking something or whatever. The fact that you're lacking something, does that justify your reason for going out and having a satellite or getting a satellite or already having a satellite because something's lacking at that I moment? I like that. I like that question. That's a really good question. Mm-hmm. Because nobody is a thousand percent happy all the time. Right. Somebody always going to get on your nerves. So the, mm. listen, escapism. 
there you go. Right. Right. right? Running away from responsibility. <laughs> running away from self work. Right. Self-work. Right. Yeah. But that's most people. Yeah. Like, do you understand? Most people are on their way somewhere away from what they should be doing. Exactly. Right. As it pertains to intimate relationship. You should be working on some shit within yourself that has manifested itself in your current relationship. But most people are on their way somewhere away from their work, because their I personal feel, work. I personally feel like you just too, I, I don't, I'm going to use this word, but I just feel like you're too lazy to really work towards something that could be very great. But that's most people. Yes, Exactly. That's They're most too, people. They rather so now, just run away from it. So like, now the question it. is, because see, and then it gets kind of convoluted. Well, should I stay in an abusive situation? No. Nobody said stay in an abusive situation. Sometimes, let's look at another kind of abuse. You're in a relationship and now you're being challenged by what you're getting back from your partner. And we're talking about energy. We're talking about communication. We're talking about whatever triggers you. Shit that you got from broken mamas and fathers. Yeah. Right? So these things come back in your relationship, and then you run away from that. That is a type of self-abuse. When you run away from your lesson, how many people mm. run away from their lessons? This oh, is why I'm going to raise my hand high and wave this, it all through the sky. This is why the relationship <laughs> satellite is necessary. But I don't think it's necessary. Because it is just demoting your growth. I feel like you got to step up to the plate and allow yourself to grow. You remember allow the movie The Matrix? To, yes, for sure. Do you remember that scene when Cypher is in the restaurant mm. and he's saying, I know this steak isn't real. Right. Yeah. This is just a computer code telling my brain that it's succulent. <laughs> it's a lot of motherfuckers yeah. who will settle for the computer simulated steak. Exactly. Rather than facing themselves. Facing yourself ain't no easy shit. It's not. That's why motherfuckers got on track shoes. Whenever they see themselves, they run in the other direction. <laughs> right. Exactly. Tiffany? Well, that, that's what I would say as someone who has now actually, I would be like, I've been cheated on. But, like, that's where, like, the accountability comes from me. Like, obviously, I own I wasn't giving my partner something. That's where the accountability comes in. But the disappointing part was, like, I literally have text messages saying, like, baby, what do you need from me? Exact, like, quotable, can screenshot them to you text messages of being, like, I get I might not be giving you what you need. What do you need? And not being in a place in my relationship where either I didn't nurture an environment where he felt he could share that with me because I'll own that. Maybe maybe I was thrown off hella vibes where you didn't feel comfortable telling me what was lacking. But that opened up an opportunity for him to get supplemental satellite you know what's Nursing interesting? For someone else. You know what's interesting? The answer. Baby, what do you need from me? The answer is everything. It is. I'm mm-hmm. going to see really quickly. One word, everybody, one word. I'm starting with Joel. One word. I'm going to ask the question, and you're going to give me a one word answer. Baby, what do you need from me? Honesty. Good. Tiffany. Patience. Good. Time. Mimi, time. I like that. Growth. Growth. You know what I think, and those are all great answers. There are no wrong answers here. But I think this is how you pull out the fraud when he asked that question. The satellite. Right. Understanding. You hit him with that. Baby, what do you need from me? Understanding. You're going to know if you're fucking with Benny Booyow. Because if he can't provide understanding, that will reveal the level he's at. Exactly. Again, a lot of times your satellite isn't there for understanding. The satellite is there for stimulation. Exactly. Right. Right. I know. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, they love me around here at Dash Radio. <laughs> I don't know. I do wonderful stuff. Let me get a couple of callers in here real quick. Caller! You're on the voice of reason. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Maybe. Hey, bye, bye. All right. Boost <laughs> Mobile. Bye. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Hey, I'm calling from L.A. Uh, shout out to Mimi. What's up, baby? What's up? 
I want to just give some knowledge real quick. Yeah. Fellas, if you got if you're married and your girl got friends that are men, already understand that he's your competition, <laughs> number one. Uh I grew up in LA in a time era where in the seventies and the eighties where there was hoes on Sunset, Hollywood Boulevard. So my older brothers taught me something. Treat these bitches like hoes. That way, you never have a heartache. You know, when you get into a relationship, just assume your woman's a hoe. Come at her clean. You know, just tell her, you know, I know you're a hoe. If you treat your woman like you think she ain't cheating on you, she ain't gonna fuck with you, that's all bullshit. You just gotta keep it real with her. If you keep it real with her, then the satellites, as they coexist, they really ain't got nothing on you because you already know that you're going to fuck him anyway. But if you think the woman's honest and faithful, that's a that's, that's a fallacy. That's not real. So I just say to all the fellas out there, if you're married, thinking about getting married, engaged, and your woman says, oh, I've got this play brother, cousin, buddy, whatever, know that, that's, that he, he wants to fuck her. And He's I a fuck really buddy cool in training. Guy. Yeah, and I ain't cool with cats that want to be friends with my wife, my woman. Fuck Dude, you, funny. nigga. You ain't finna be my wife's homie. Yeah. The fuck kind of shit is this, nigga? Right. I mean, I mean kick, it, kick it real, though. What motherfucker want to be friends with your wife? Right. With your That's wife. What I used to tell dudes, they'd be like, Yo, remember we used to hang right. out in, yeah. at the pergola I'm, at school? Nigga, nah. I'm not, I'm not friends with nobody. True, true. Right? I'm not talking like, to your, your wife friend? and That's talking true. to you. Yeah. Right, so right, I, right. So I just want to dispel this whole notion of women can have men friends and they're married. You can't. If you my true. bitch, you're going to have to kick, you're going to have to shake all the motherfuckers. Right. <laughs> That's right. right. Everybody got to get shook. Right. That was That's the realest right. shit. Hold on, right. hold, on, hold on. Let me put my pimp hat on. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh. I thought it was already on. Oh, no, it was on. <laughs> you was laying it down. <laughs> if this prick nigga want to give my bitch some money, Nigga, give her some money because she gonna spend it on me. And I'm not a penny peanut pimp, but damn, nigga, you wanna talk to that bitch, you gonna pay. Right. That part. Right. She can't take out to dinner because she talking to you. Yeah, I, I'm cool with that. Hey, so, man, I damn. tell you, brothers, fade to black. All you niggas trying to talk to niggas wise, fade to black. Fade to black. Fade to mm. black. Go get you a bitch. Go get you a bitch. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the call. God damn. Hey, turn this beat up after that. This shit was fire. It, turn it, it up right now. Let's go. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Jesus, I just, I needed a reprieve. He slapped niggas upside the dome piece on his strong. way home from Jones Beach. Yeah. He was strong. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he wasn't playing. Right. Ah, damn, let's, get another, truth. let's get another it's caller in truth. here right now. Caller, you're on The Voice of Reason. What's your name and where you're calling from? Speak on it. What's going on? This is Brandon from Cincinnati again. Brandon from Cincinnati. Get at it, man. Yeah, I, after listening to the young lady speak and get a um, definitions of a satellite, it seems to be like a thin line between a satellite and what we like to call a simp. A satellite <laughs> and a simp. Yeah. Wow. True. True. Say more. Go deeper. Because, you know, a satellite, like I said, a satellite, he has more control in the relationship. He might be like a side nigga. He getting mm-hmm. some ass, you know. You might be having him off to the side, but he still has some control over it. You know what I'm saying? He's, you know, getting something out the deal and and you know, he ain't gotta worry about the drama and the shit that's going on in your relationship, you know. So he's more in control, whereas a simp, he's basically that nigga stuck in the friend zone who wants to be with you. You know you wanna be he you know he wants to be with you, but you looking at him, you ain't really attracted to him like that and, mm-hmm. and I look at him like the last option. Once Ray Ray and Day Day and Tyrone done with you, and uh, once they all done with you, got two, three kids, and you washed up, then you get that nigga a chance. That's the sim. That ain't the satellite. Wow. The simp versus the satellite. Mm. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's topic was on fire. Thank you very much for your calls. (laughs) Ladies, I love the fire, the vitriol, the truth. The lies, the deceptions. I feel like this topic deserves a part deux. Yeah. Yeah. This was a really good slapper. Created by, originated by 
Lord Zosa himself. Identifying relationship satellites. Is he truly your friend or is he plotting for more? <laughs> it can be 50 50. <laughs> This was great. Ladies, where can everybody be found? Mimi? Mimi got gear. Mimi, yes. You should bring these girls in, into your little boutique. Mm-hmm. I got them. Put them in some clothes and do a photo shoot. Let's do it, ladies. For your do boutique. It. Let's do it. I mean, I they all bad. Oh, well, no. Well, all excuse me. This is a professional model. She has to You are dumb. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to be like, my agent will not. Uh, Don't play. Mimi, girl, I'm at your boutique, girl. Okay, I got you. I'm got at some the boutique. Bomb, I got mm. some bomb gear for you, too. Yes. Rebel Threads Boutique. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, check me out. Get some stuff for your boot or your side chick. Or for your the monkey, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Mimi has the monkey gear available. No, yes, sorry. on the monkey side of the game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <yeah>. Tiff Ram. <laughs> yes, that's my real name, too. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. So you can find me everywhere at Tiff Talk TV, T I F F T A L K T V. Otherwise, you can also find me at my website at www.tiffanyram.com. That's two M's. Mean ass Smurf. <laughs> my favorite. Thank you, thank you. She like one of them little mice you back into a corner and then they hair stand up. <laughs> I'm really yeah. like a nice person in like real life. I love Joy. No, she's, she's really fabulous. Is. She's I love her. I love, I love her. Thank you. We, we love you, girl. You lay your down on your ass. But she told the damn caller, don't come for me. Well, I you just, understand? I appreciate feedback. You just you way feel to me? say it, you know? I'm from Maryland, nigga. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, okay, shit. This nigga got a pocket like, knife? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tip, where can they find you, little girl? Um, Joey XSB <laughs> on all social media platforms. Dope, dope, dope. And then... Storm. Yes, you can follow me on social media platforms um, on Instagram, A R R E Y O N N, or on Facebook, Twitter, Ariana Ford. Also, you guys stay tuned and check out my Instagram or my Facebook for uh, my private screening. We are having our reality show, our reality TV show private screening coming up this June 7th. So, you guys should come out, check us out, and yeah, look on my social media, A R R E Y O N N. O N N for details. She forgot how to spell her name. Cool. Um, <laughs> really Struggle. quickly, one word. Mm -hmm. Just say one word. What is the quickest way? I'm going to go around the table real quick. What is the quickest way for a man to be banished to Frenitentiary? One word. Tiff. Body odor? <laughs> That's two words. Okay, cool. Mimi. Hot. Hot breath. <laughs> Fire mouth. Um. Okay, two words. <laughs> okay, two words. Joey, XB. XSB. XSB. Oh, oh, confusing. Oh, 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 oh. Um, go. Bama. Oh. A Bama. A which means you can't maybe. dress. Wow. He said one word, so I thought it yeah. one word. A Bama? Yeah. Bama. Which means you can't dress. Right. Okay, fashion. That's what that means. Okay, cool. Aria. Thirstiness. I can't stand a thirsty man. Thirst. All right, well. <laughs> the ladies have shared. They have spoken. Listen, the voice of reason shall return for its Friday night installment. I may have something really wild for Friday. Ooh. <laughs> Might be some way out shit going on Friday, so just be prepared, okay? You bring food. <laughs> I'll bring you food, girl. Thanks. Yes. Ooh, I'd be hungry. I'm skinny, but I can eat, baby. <laughs> oh, me too. I'm a food baby. For all you men listening, you got to feed me. Hey, thank you so me much too. for tuning in. I we'll like be to back eat. Friday. <laughs> all right, the voice of reason. Girl. I'm out. Always Deuces. storm, girl. Eating.